So this is a video editing tool. So, so the first thing you might notice is that you don't have those two little windows and then big timeline. You know how the bin works and all that stuff. Because what's the most important thing in video editing? Well, I think it is the video. That's what you should be looking at. So the majority of the screen here is video. And then I can actually sort of just move my mouse pointer like this, right? And then scrub through it. So actually, I don't have to grab that. I just move my mouse pointer. So I'm sort of, if I'm thinking over here, I'm there, right? It's really fast to, to just go through the footage. So I'm going to click at this junction here. And now, what happened? So now if I move, I can actually change them. At this current point, I'm changing the out point of this cut, right? So you can see there are two new little screens down there. And one of them shows the last frame of the previous clip, and the other one the first image of the next one. That means that I can currently, I can, when I move, I can see both of those sort of where the conjunction is. And at the big screen, I get a loop playing over this clip over and over and over. And that means that I don't have to do the normal thing of, you know, make a little change, go back in time, press play, see what it looks like, change my mind, click on the tool thing, make the change, go back, press play, watch it, you know, here to just immediately see what you're doing. That's a tiny, tiny thing, but if you're an editor, this is what you do all day long. And now I'm actually using shift and uh, control to actually change how I'm uh, changing this one. So now I'm actually moving the cut. So you can see I'm changing both in and out point at the same time, sort of taking time from one and giving to the other, right? Another one changing the out point, right? Same for clips. If I click on a clip, I can move the clip like that. Uh, this, by the way, is how the transition would look. Um, if I change the mode for this, I can actually do a roll. So now I'm changing the in and out points of this clip. It has the same length, but I can sort of decide which parts I want to use. And again, I see both in and, in and out at the same time, so it's really easy to make a, a judgment on that. Another thing that I was sort of thinking about is play. So Alt is play, and with Shift and Control, you can actually go back and forth. And play is something you do a lot when you, when you work with video. So I want it to be somewhat special. So one of the features I have is just you can pause, or you can, at any time, you can actually draw something. You can't see it here, but I'm actually drawing something. Or you can type something in, or you can press a button to record a sound, so you can see a little comment. And then when you go back to your timeline, there's a little thing here, and here's my, the lines that I drew, right? So actually, you can sort of annotate that way. You can have a special version of this application you give to your director, your producer, your you know, director of photography, and they can all sort of paint, and they all fix this, I need some stuff over here. And that's how you sort of can communicate about it. And I think that seeing those very few clicks and, and small things is, is really powerful because you, if you look at any artist, they'll tend to use you know, a couple percentage of the feature set, like 99% of the time. So if you can sort of shave off milliseconds of that, that's going to add up to a lot of things. So one of the things I'm playing with when it comes to this tool is actually uh, when you go to sort of this mode where you have all your, here's where you have your footage, essentially you can cut it and play with it. Kind of, you know, this kind of a rough cut area where you can look at the footage. When you actually look at your footage, uh, I mean, if you ever looked at footage, even if it's been 